hello welcome to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can extract tabular data from web page using selenium web driver in python so let's start i have already created a python file and named as extract web data so now first we have to we have to import web driver from selenium so from selenium import web driver this will import the web driver from selenium in our project now we have to specify the chrome driver path as we are going to use the chrome driver i have already kept chrome driver in my project starter project project so just the the chrome driver name will be sufficient for the path so path to so let's path culture this is the path of the chrome driver so in my case this is just the chrome driver if you have if you have kept a uh, chrome driver in some other directory then you have to supply full path to the chrome driver now we will define the drive driver here wave driver and we as yes, we are going to use the chrome dot chrome and we will supply the path here Now we will specify the URL from which we are going to extract the tabular data. In my case, I have taken the sample from my blog where I have kept tabular data. So the address of the blog. This will be the URL from where you are going to extract the tabular data. So driver dot get URL command will open the URL. So let's run this code first. So this will open the URL and here is the tabular data and to extract the tabular data we have to use xpath of this tabular data or some other identification strategy so i'm going to inspect this element to extract the tabular data so let's take the reference for for first cell and we have we'll copy the xpath which will be used in our code so to dynamically extract the data from web table we will use row count and column count so row row count we will use the length keyword which will give the length of the length of the matching uh, matching elements so driver dot find as there will be the multiple elements in the cell so we will use driver dot find elements by x path and in the quotation we will paste the x path that we have copied above so this is the x path full x path as we can is th this is closing the first tag we will we can use single quotation here so this is the d1 and this gives the mm, the cell x path of the cell value that is serial number in our case that is the table row one and column one so uh, we as we for the row count we, we can eliminate the part after it so this will give the total row count in the table and similarly for column count same command dot find elements by x path and supply the best tax path that we have copied from above. Similarly, remove the double quote with the single quote. And column count will be same for, for all rows, so we can take the reference from the first first row. So we have to keep it as it is, table row one. And so this will give the column count from the from the table. So 
we can print the number of rows and columns here row count similarly column per Now, as we are going to uh, going to pull the data uh, dynamically using the loop, so we'll um, we'll split the path of the table in three parts. In the first part, so let's just paste here. So this is the row and row, uh, for this value is for the row one and column one. So uh, we can supply the supply value from row count and column count in these two these two fields. So yeah, for this we will use use loop. So let's break the x bar. So this is the first part. So we will keep it up to here and we will supply the value of the row count here and in the second part we we'll use the same power x bar this is We have already kept that in the first part. So for the second part, we just have to put from here. So we'll show it later, and this value will be supplied from dynamically. So we can remove this part as well. So in third part, we will close this bracket. Now we will make the final. So for we will use the loop, loop for number of rows and column. So for n in range that will start from 1 to row count. count plus one we have edited as Python will go up to the n minus one and we want to look through all the row counts so we have used row count plus one and similarly for column for m in range one two column count now we'll make the final path here will append all first part second part and third part and in between them we will supply the row and col column value from the loop, loop. so here we will supply the row value converted it to, it to string as it will give the integer value and for x path we have to supply the string value and second part and the column value from loop that is M and third part. So you will understand now why we have break that x path into the three part, first part, second part, and third part. As more, as we are going to dynamically supply the row value and column value here. Now we'll extract the data from this path. 
so table data will be find element by x bar and we will supply the final path here and now we will print and the text command will extract the data text data from here now we will print this table of data print table data and to print all row value in the same line we can use this command and so this will print in all row value in the same line and for column value we will print it in different lines so we will print this space character here to separate out the row and column so instead of um, breaking this first part second part and third part uh, in, in separately we can we can use same command directly here as well but for for the code view and for to for simplicity to understand i have break i have broken this code into the three lines first part second part and third part and where we have supplied that row values and column values here and make the final path and print out the table of data so let's run the code this opening the site So it has printed the number of rows 4, number of column 3 and tabular data in the sum structure format. So we can use this tabular data to write in Excel or some other format when whenever required. So I will describe this code again. First we have imported the web driver from Selenium and we have supplied the path of the Chrome driver and we have given the url here and driver.get url will open the url and we have calculated the row count and column count of the tables and for um, and printed that and we have break um, we have broken the uh, x path into the three parts first part second part and third part to dynamically supply the cell value cell value and we have used the loop up to uh, row value and column value and we have calculated the final path and we have uh, extracted the data from that final path in using the loop and uh, we have printed the tabular data in the structure format so this is the end if you have any comment regarding this tutorial please do comment here in the youtube video and for upcoming videos please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you